full system emulation mode of GEM5. The way that we do that is we've already got GEM5 installed, as I've previously given a tutorial on, and then we're going to make a new directory. Let's go back to the home directory first. Make dir of say full system images. get a file from an ARM system that already exists. I'll we'll wait for this to download and then what we're going to do is we'll extract it and then we're going to add where this lives uh, to an environment variable called m5path. Alright, so now we've got the file downloaded and we'll extract it tar jxf and the name. So we've just finished extracting the ARM image and now we're going to tell the system where this image is. So what we're doing is we're exporting the m5 path variable to uh, bash rc and we'll just take a look at what that did. So in bash rc, now what we see is we have the m5 environment variable set. So we'll close this. And now if we do echo m5 path, it's there. And we are able to get that. If you, if you just want to make sure, we can do source. bash rc. So this will refresh all the uh, variables. Alright, so now we're going to go back to the gem5 directory and from there we'll start using this image. So we'll do build arm and then gem5 opt with configs and example full system emulation and we're going to now specify the disk image. Disk. So this is the image that was extracted that we did earlier. And now, so this is build ARM, so the ARM architecture for Gem5, which we did with scans. And we're going to use full system emulation mode, and we're specifying the disk image. All right, so now here again you can see this was the command line arguments that we specified, and it's giving our ticks per second here. And then it's, you can see it's listing for system connection on port 3456, so it's 3456. And this is real simulation, warning, 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 and you get a couple warnings here. What I'm going to do is open a new tab in the, on the host machine, and then I'm going to use Telnet. Three, four, five, six is the port, and 127.0.0.1 is my local host. So now we're kicked into the simulated system. At the towards the top, we can see uh, that it was Linux firing up with Gem5, uh, and so all this uh, information is being spit out. This is what you'd normally see from D message. And this is the, uh, for instance, the disk being mounted, SDA one. And eventually, it's going to stay for a while here on freeing init memory 132k. But eventually, to move past that, it takes quite a while for the operating system to boot up. So we'll come back to this in a little bit. Alright, so Gem5 just finished booting up the ARM image. It took about 30 minutes. So now we're at the login prompt on the simulated system. So you'll recall, this terminal here is my uh, Telnet session. In this other tab, I've got the uh, Gem5 simulator running. And here you can see these are all the warnings we had earlier. And now since I've connected that Telnet session, uh, it notes that and it's running log. But this is still running. It's just saying at this tick, a terminal is attached. So we'll go back to the other tab where I've got the Telnet session. I'm going to log in with root. And it echoes back to me. There's no password associated with this system, so we're just going to be 
uh, given a root shell that we have access to. You'll notice it's a little bit slow. That's understandable running in a simulated computer. The uh, first thing I'm going to do is just uh, do a help and get what commands are available to me as soon as this gets done letting me in. So now we're at the login shell and I'll type help to see what commands are available. And as you'd expect, it's a full shell running an Ubuntu on ARM architecture, even though the host is x86. So we can do everything we'd normally do, but I'm not going to do that because it takes quite a while. So, but in the root file system here, there are no files. And so the next question is, how do we get things on into this file system? One of the answers is we can uh, bring in things through wget if they're hosted on a remote server, or we can use SCP. Both those commands are available. And the third option would be to add images uh, to the disk directly. So this would mean uh, shutting down the uh, simulated system and mounting that file structure. So that's what I'm going to show you next. This is the Telnet session. I'm just going to close this. So we're going to close the terminal. And then you can see over in the Gem 5 simulation, uh, this is still running. And it says at this later tick, uh, the terminal was detached. So now to control, to, uh, to shut down this full system emulation, I'm just going to hit Control C. And the uh, Gem 5 quits uh, at some final tick because I told it to stop with Control C. So that's full system emulation mode.